Hi, it's Mark Kawabi here from the webforbusiness.com and I'm here to talk about video. When I was starting out in 1997, I was thinking about getting a video and I quickly realized that as a startup with a limited budget, I just couldn't afford it. It was going to be around $2,000 for a two minute video and it was just not justifiable. And that was in 1997, which was eight years before YouTube came along and changed everything. Uh, YouTube had two major impacts. The first was that it democratized the distribution of video. You didn't need to have a big budget to send videos out to millions of people. You could take a video and put it on YouTube, put it on your website, send a link by email, and literally it could go to hundreds of thousands if not millions of people. It could also be spread virally, uh, which is something you can't do with a CD or a DVD, which is how people used to have to develop or distribute their videos. I remember getting a lot of videotapes in the mail, DVDs after a while, and then YouTube. after YouTube came along, I didn't get any of those. So, also good for the environment. Now, the second thing that YouTube caused to happen was that the quality bar got lowered. Right now, the number five most viewed video on YouTube is called Charlie Bit My Finger, again. It's an amateur video, and it's, it's not got any professional production value to it, but the content is compelling enough that almost 600 million people have watched it. Why? I don't know. But it goes to prove the point that if you provide quality, compelling content, your video will get shared, it will get loved, and it will make the rounds online. Now the best thing for me about a small business, uh, as a small business owner is that you get to see per people's personalities online. So when you think about what the purpose of a website is, you are there to enlighten, you're there to engage, you're there to showcase your information and your knowledge. And by doing it through video, it's a lot more effective and engaging than just using flat text on a page. So that's the big advantage of video to me as a small business owner, is saying, hey, you know what, here's who I am, I'm excited, I hope you're excited too, and wah, here's who I am. So the engagement and the rapport that you can build with your audience is much more powerful through a video than it is through flat text on a page. So anyway, there's my take on video, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, that's great. If you haven't, that's okay too. Leave me a comment on the blog, and uh, I certainly hope to hear from you. Anyway, that's me, Mark Kawabi from the web for business .com, with my take on video. Have a great day.